Olga here again with the part 3 of our series, where we'll be building a Bitmoji 3D lens that reacts to user input. To get started, let's import the animation that Vernon created in Maya. Simply drag and drop it into your asset browser and select Accept. Make sure you have the Bitmoji 3D component installed and updated to the latest version. Then create a new scene object. Click on the Add Component button in the Inspector panel and select Bitmoji 3D. To better view the scene content, let's switch to the back camera. Additionally, let's add a device tracking component to the camera, which allows us to move around the space while the content remains locked at the same location on the surface. Next, add an Animation Player component to the Bitmoji scene object. Click on Add Clip and select the imported animation asset. With the Autoplay checkbox selected, you should already see the animation playing, but it's currently all stitched together. I'll take some time to add each clip based on the frames Verdon has provided me with. As a result, we should have four animations with their names configured accordingly. Idle, Wave, dance and stumble. This will ensure we can reference them correctly from our scripts. Our goal is to set up this interactive experience with as little code as possible, so we'll need a couple of helpers to assist us. The Animation State Manager custom component, which can be installed from the asset library, and the Behavior script, which you might already be familiar with. Let's start by adding the Animation State Manager to the scene. The script underneath the component will take care about all the blending and state management for us, providing higher level inputs. Configure the Animation Player input with the component we just added and select Create States from Clips. This will create a state for each animation clip using their settings from the clip settings, such as name, playback mode, etc. Next, let's design a simple interaction for our character. Maybe when I touch the screen, I'd like her to dance and stop dancing when I release a touch. Alternatively, she could stumble first and then return to idle. Let's start configuring these interactions. In the parameter section, we can specify certain parameters that will decide which transition to trigger. First, I'll add a boolean called is dancing. The first transition will be from the entry state to the idle state. Once we refresh the scene, we should see the character playing the idle animation. Next, we'll set up the dancing interaction. Let's bring up a behavior script and configure it. The first interaction will be touch start. For simplicity, We'll use the whole screen, and for the response, we'll select the most flexible option called Call Object API. This can be used for both script components or any component in general, and it allows us to call any API's function with up to two parameters. For the component input, we'll set it to the Animation State Manager, and for the function, select one of the Animation Manager API functions. All available API functions can be found in the description of the component itself. We'll use the setParameter function, which takes two arguments, the parameter name and its value. There is also a setTrigger function that we'll use later. Let's return to behavior script, set the function name to setParameter. The first argument to the parameter name is dancing and the second argument to be the value, which is true. Finally, let's configure the transition itself and its conditions in the Animation State Manager. In the Transition section of the Animation State Manager, click on Add Value, set the transition from Specific State, called Idle, to Specific State, called Dance with a transition duration of 0.2 seconds. Now, for the conditions, set the name to is dancing, 
the parameter we defined above, set the type to boolean, and check function to is true. Stain machine will check if this condition is met and execute transition if that happened. Now once we refresh the scene, tab, we can see her dancing. But she does not stop, so I will repeat my actions and add another transition from dance to idle when the touch and event is triggered. Now when we start touch, she's dancing, we release and she stops. Great. Now we can build on any logic we want. For example, when we end touch, she's going to stumble and then start playing idle again. To do so, I'm going to go back to animation state manager, switch last transition to transition to stumble, add another one from stumble to idle. This transition will happen automatically once the animation is over. So we have to select a has exit time checkbox. Tweak the duration and exit time parameters until you see the desired effect. We can add a look at interaction as well, following the same steps and logic. Add parameters in parameter section, Define transition and conditions. And set up a trigger with behavior script. We can finish this lens with adding the world object controller from asset library, enabling shadows, and making some other small tweaks. Please find the projects built both for the Mixamo and Maya Bitmoji animations attached to this video. And see you in the part 4, where we'll learn how to have multiple Bitmoji in one scene, add UI, improve loading time, and etc.